met uh, Risha Palma about eight years ago. And I remember him from the very first moment because he was extremely enthusiastic. My first um, point was that he's so open-minded and sincerity. Friendly, really friendly. Richard is very hardworking. He is clever, intelligent, and um, how I told you, told you uh, he's able to inspire other people. And I think it's very important skill. Nebojí se i něco obětovat ze svého pohodlí tomu, aby dosáhl svého cíle. Odvaha, odvaha žít, odvaha si užívat, odvaha nebejt v pozadí a jít, jít si za tím, co chci, to je asi hodně, hodně těžké. I think I could put in this movie some interesting things that the viewers can appreciate. Because my country were for more than 40 years close to the world during the government. And nowadays I think we have lots of things to say and to show. Well, I mean, I just don't think that it's a good thing. But on the other hand, I think that I've been and reflected on it in the past, and that's why we've been able to do it in the United States. So I said that maybe there will be something on it, because Proto prosazení se tam a ukázání zase něčeho jiného a i nějakého vlastního příkladu, to by byla docela dobrá reklama. For me, the Czech people are very skilled people, uh, good intellectuals and they give great care to children as all Slavic people. In some development causes that in some part they are not so offensive but let's see in the future I think we have great we have great discoveries, great inventions for my country. Lots of, almost nobody know that the world dollar is the world from Czech language. And I think we have some secrets that are in front of the world to explore. For example, in my country was founded the first department of plastic surgery in the world. And uh, were made also the first transplantation that is successful and that was documented. It was cornea at the beginning of 20th century. Nowadays we make nanofibers and uh, for example the screw propeller is the invention from my country or a sugar cube or a lightning rod. So I think also in our society the position of scientists is very high in this society and the society can appreciate that you really do something for others and you have some inventions so also the young boys are really run wondering if this guy or this guy makes some electricians and something like that so i think it is a history in my country you know uh, why he wants to go uh, to the United States, even he loves his family and he's very proud of our school, our country, exceptionally, yeah, really. He has a very nice pa uh, parents and grandparents, I didn't meet them uh, uh, in person, but I have heard a lot of stories from him. Uh, and uh, he sometimes, when I I tend to uh, price America and so on, and he says no, uh, says, but uh, we in our country we have this too. So he's proud of our country, uh, but because he knows that uh, um, he wants the highest uh, uh, education, and I, and he it is a challenge, and um, excellent uh, educated people, not all, but many of them want to try this challenge. So I think that it is like a Hollywood for the actors to go to an American medical school. And also in, also in sport, Czechs like to uh, make some, to do some sports, like social event. 
but we also have some international superstar like uh, the tennis queen Martina Navratilova who emigrated from communist Czechoslovakia and uh, NHL king with the number 68 which everyone by at us we are proud of him and it's he's called Jaromir Jagr but the real superstar from my country is called Bedřich Hrozný in English Bedřich the horrible with uh, the first name Bedřich where is where is R with hook above and we call it R there are just three languages in the world with R R and this guy deciphered the first Indo-European language and it was the Hittite language at the beginning of 20th century. The world robot was written in the play of our writer Karel Čapek but in fact the author of this world is his brother Josef and it's quite funny because this guy was actually a painter and you know creates a world that is worldwide known. So this is the contribution from my country to the world. Well, I try to improve my personality, to meet new people, not to be stuck just in one place and in one field because it's getting then in depression in the human when you do the things for a long time very deep. So and and mostly i try to do the things that i am amazed from them so i was amazed from painting so i was like it could be good to begin to paint i was amazed by sportsmen by swimmers their their body shape is like a wave actually of swimmers so i was like it's good to swim for your health for your friends for your mind and education education is support from my parents and also my desire to know something about the things how it works how does it work that's the that's the main passion of me to really realize how does it work how does it work in real life not just in documentary on a movie During my university, I preserved the hobby of paintings. I attend the courses uh, led by Dan Suhi. He is uh, our teacher and quite extraordinary person who lives with sheep and lives in a lifestyle which is alternative to the mainstream lifestyle. And I found it on the internet that there are these courses in Hradec and. I am there almost eight years, learning how to paint, how to scale the ectempera, how to fill the format with colors, and how to relax the hands, how to feel more artistically about the life, about our view of the world. And it's also quite therapeutic when you are together with many people. You can discuss lots of things. Uh, few people know how many things you can discuss during painting because you have time you have time which you can share the space with others and i like it massive picture frame is like arms of a man embracing the whole world and as artists attained impressive expressions uh, by spending time with art the man is gaining relationship to ground to sources to raw materials and although we think it's a uh, big value it's honest work that lasts forever i think it's better to stay with young because in europe we have long history of intrable geniuses but so for me it's better to stay with young and draw from older here i have my work it's nude in ectempera and it's actually the same technique as used uh, Master Theodoricus of Prague 650 years ago. It's, uh, he created the biggest collection of Gothic paintings in the world with uh, lots of portraits of kings and signs. So just the topics have a little bit changed to more earthbound topics. Actually also our first artist, unfortunately anonymous, made uh, the 
Venus of Jestonice and is the world's oldest known ceramic article from the year 29,000 before Christ, maybe the Miss World of this time. Save the world of potency through your own example, to love the life above all things before it lost its continuity. Span it on earth for which it was done. Rescue the civilization from protracted fatigue of casualty and boring engagement. Explore again the world through your own experience. Let put aside the proven truths. Just in this way you give chance for your own story. Story belonging to the entire humanity. Give it into consequences before its understanding will be taken away by time. Like original, stop copying. But together in the way it happened until it will be lost in history. Your success stands and falls down through your personality. Let grow it like a part of history. Crush just by yourself with your own potency and therefore Sign just with your name. I like swimming. I go to swim four times a week. But uh, the beginning with swimming in the swimming club were very demanding. I was thinking I would die in the water because I was suffocated there. And the most demanding were the first 30 minutes. But I came again and continued. So I think it's very important to have some community in this sport where you can observe the others and you can share the know-how and the information how to do this. I also participate in swim races and swim competitions where you have to do your best and there are quite good memories to have it during the weekend that you are in the competition and I like also to swim alone to have a little bit more relaxed time. Because he started uh, to work uh, with patients, so he was more uh, attracted to, to the subject and he started also to uh, travel abroad uh, to the, um, on internships in different departments. Practically he has visited uh, more than uh, 20 uh, departments of, of orofacial uh, surgery in Europe. Uh, he started first with Germany and uh, Switzerland and he came before and he required from me books and some uh, consultations and later on when we, he expanded to overseas also universities so he usually sent me an email and he informed me about what happens and what's you so uh, we were really I had a feedback uh, of him and uh, I appreciate it because he also sometimes recommended uh, something so he was also included uh, was included uh, and involved in the impairment of our teaching. And the swimming also in the community is not about the sport, it's also about the existentials like fear, success, and success, uh, loneliness, movements, know how. So that's something I think very important. <laughs> Welcome to my dormitory. I have here my room in a panel flat, which I share with my uh, friend from pharmacy. Here you can see my small library. It's maybe the influence also from my country that here was written the biggest manuscript ever. It's called Codex Gaigas. And I read lots of books during my studies. But actually I don't like so much reading, but I think it's necessary in this time. Here you can see on this shelf the monographs of painters, of Czech painters. They were, they were uh, original individualists and it's a wealth of our culture. Here on this shelf I have the atlases from medicine. I am very proud to have them here. My really favorite atlas is called Natur Atlas of Anatomy and uh, there is lots of very very nice pictures and I have here from my anatomy teacher called uh, Olga. A uh, very nice dedication on the first side where it's written uh, Above Majori Dissit Arare Minor 
and she wrote me here that she wished me uh, all the best to my life and that I belong to her uh, best student. So I'm, it's very nice from her for my motivation and support uh, to the future. Actually, in Czech Republic, we have reached a history of medicine. From my country are inventions like fingerprinting or soft contact lenses. It's very, very funny and typically Czech that this guy who invented soft contact lenses uh, wears uh, on every picture glasses. And uh, nowadays we make nanofibers. Also the names like Johann Gregor Mendel as the father of genetics or Sigmund Freud, the psychoanalytist, are, are also bound with my country. Here I have my notebooks. Uh, actually during the whole university I wrote in the notebooks my feeling, my expressions about uh, what I am experience and uh, what is bad in my life, what is new. And I think it's quite good for you to do this uh, as a reflection, as a mirror of your history, of your past, that then you can balance what is good and what, is, what was not good. The music spreading to the cosmos, our music. You know, many times it was uh, beyond my possibilities, beyond the age of my possibilities, of my strength in the gym, but then I came back and do again, because I know that it's not possible to do this in other way, because otherwise you will lie in front of the TV and eat cookies and do nothing. So it's better to go to the gym and to speak with your friends, to have some movement, to have some good feelings after. It's, I think, something that everybody is looking forward to go to the gym with his or her friend and to speak some a little bit. Stone of potency, lake of immunity, fish of freedom. I think uh, Richard's strongest aspect of his personality is that he's got, he's very balanced. Like I think, like an inner balanced. He's very aware of his strengths and his weaknesses, and he just work on it. Well, my decision to do the facial surgery, to be really the max of a facial surgeon, was at the beginning of university. Uh, I went to dentistry and then I was like, it's good to make general medicine because medicine is just one. 
And I am still, still fascinated with this job because you can see it. And uh, to work in the US, this idea I had in the first visit of the US at Mayo Clinic. I was like, this is really good place because there are lots of young people, lots of development in medicine. And also with my experience, uh, the surroundings and the possibilities in other parts of world are much more limited. I really, really like in this country that uh, I can do my job and I am free. That's very important for me. And I have enough materials and enough stuff. They are really focused on this and they are really enthusiastic to this area because this job is demanding. And it is years and years of your learning and knowledge and personality. I don't know more simple advice to change your life. If you want to be nice, be with the nice people. If you want to be smart, be with clever people. How simple. Only to be able to be there. And I could. I, I think from the last time I really hacked the world of imagination in paintings. But there are lots of good painters in the world. So let's see what will be in the future. Here is the book that I wrote. It's called Under the Bark 8. And it's from my high school from the year 2009. It's about my feeling, my life, my experience from basic and high school. And even today I think some chapters are quite difficult um, for me it's like big monolith nowadays I write a new book it's called telegraphs and after under the Baroque eight I was like I will never do again <laughs> writing a book and the opposite is happened on má takové to nápady s tou knihou třeba to napsal v 18 letech ještě před maturitou my jsme o tom vůbec nevěděli, on byl každý den se učil v pokoji 4-5 hodin, opravdu poctivě i o víkendu. Nebyl jako většina dětí, že by měl nějaký kamarády nebo běhal za holkama, to vůbec ne. Opravdu se poctivě učil a přitom, přitom psal knihu. My jsme o tom nevěděli, dověděli jsme se to týden před autogramiádou, když si pronajal tady celý kostel, kostel na Česko, nad Českobrateckým náměstí. A dělal tam autogramiádu pro dvě gymnázia, pro některé střední školy. A opravdu nás tím zaskočil. Tomu bylo sl slabých 18 let, takže to jsme mm. byli opravdu překvapení. Takže má takový nápady a dokáže to realizovat až do konce. Má, má, to, má tah na bránu. Smile, fun has to be. Here on the wall is the lithography by our by our painter. He was called Jan Zezavi, and uh, our country was the maker of poetism. Is it is an artistic style, and this graphic is in this style. Now I'm reading the book about Czech Cubism. Actually, it's uh, no other country in the world than our country where you can see such a big amount of architecture and design from this style. And uh, at the beginning of 20th century we have lots of designers, architectures and also painters and sculptures who did lots of cubism in this style. So now I'm reading about the furniture. We can be friends.
I bought this painting with the sea because I like the sea very much, but Czech Republic is an inland country, so we don't have any. And here I have two books. One is Almanac of our high school. It's uh, from the history of 25 years of learning and teaching in this school. And here is my class, the year 2009. And I think it's quite fun to read some sentences from other colleagues from my school, how they feel their school now. And in this book I have the photos, there are the pictures of the class that I have attended. And is the really the history. I'm more than 20 years at school with my friends, with my classmates. So it's quite a lot from actually the majority of my life there. I like my classmates at university very much. Uh, we share our life, our development nowadays in very, in very dynamic years during the university where we are deciding what to do after in our life. We share the sources, the books, the texts, the lectures and that's something I think very valuable that uh, you can't forget somewhere, somehow in the future. Life is a struggle for development. It fails at someone and he is unlucky. The price for development reach astronomical amounts, just to see and understand fundamentals. How many times I had to bow my back, nobody ever counts. Well, my parents, there are people that I am with them for 26 years, so it's, it's my identity. They gave me tremendous support and still give for learning, for traveling, for overwhelming, overling all the boundaries. Well, uh, my dad is lawyer in my city and my mom is engineer and uh, works at uh, Škoda Auto. It's our car factory. Actually, it should be the third oldest car factory in the world that is still working. And uh, they met at high school in my birthplace in Liberec and they are still together and uh, my dad he drew me during high school to training camps and now he draw me to airports for my summer stays and we still discuss he has read more than 5000 books so every time we have some topics for discussion he has never done never finished with topics every time he came with something new and he never bored and my mom she taught me languages german and nowadays we are swimming together she travels to me to the us and support me there so we still have with my parents a topic together common topic Určitě je tmový hráč, je přímý, k lidem ostatní, je lojální. My face, it is a gateway to 350 million people. All of them are slaves. I don't like lots of things by them, mentalities are different, but I have a huge weakness for the gen pool. Some people can see in this feeling the reason why the Slavs created abstract art and sent first human to the space. I was still hoping that somewhere in the steppes of eastern Ukraine, home of all Slavs, there is living indigenous culture. Uh, I have here also the pedigree of my family. 
It was written by my grandpa and it's uh, since the year 1633 and it tells about my family and also about uh, 16th generation of ineffective agriculture. I have never thought about the possibility to have some sibling, but yes, we are used to, to be in, in three, so. We can be friends, right? I think from the recent development, I think I am unique that I can preserve my identity and that's my very important thing for me, one of the most important things I think. And you think that it's very easy because everybody has identity but it changed through your lives, it changed with your traveling. You change with your experience, but in the core, I think I am still the same. During my university, I experienced more than 4,000 questions for exams because the exams in Czech Republic are oral and it's, you know, it's a big overload. I go to school, then go home, open my notes and uh, books and try to collect all the information together from books, from my notices and during this time there are also deaf moments when I am thinking about some absolutely different things like what I have experienced, what does this and this guy and this girl and it's like over, over storm of thinking. The biggest volume of studying I did in my kitchen, in my uh, dormitory flat and next to the Formica bathroom and the biggest volume I learned from 8 till 11 p.m. and that's the most important time during the day for me and of course because there is much much time you have to spend with the learning my secret is music so during collecting of collecting of the information or uh, during sometimes learning, I am listening to music. That's the only way how I can be stuck to something for such a long time. During my study, I read lots of books and actually I don't like reading books so much. One of my friends at high school, he told me one day that I swallow the books. Nowadays, I would say that I am lying in the books and it's like my faith today. But I think it's, it's worthy and it's good for the education to have good sources. Richard was a very nice child. He supported us because uh, Richard was born. Uh, uh, his uh, very young, 20 years old uh, parents during university studies uh, after the Velvet Revolution. Uh, he was, for example, able to attend with me uh, at school exams or lectures. And I think mm, this gave him very good uh, basics uh, for the future. It means uh, if you really want to do something and you go step by step, you will reach it. In comparison with uh, some 
other students from International Physics Olympiad, I met plenty of talented people. Some of them are, are really talented that they don't have uh, to work s such hard as Richard and they have maybe even better results. But he, he studied very, very hard. He, he read all uh, textbooks and he really, he really knew what he wanted to reach and he did it. I think it's the strongest, his strongest property. American people are very, very friendly. But uh, when you are uh, hard working, when you are the best uh, in your job, and uh, if you are not afraid uh, of risk, you will be a respectable person. It's quite miracles that uh, for all the years that I have known him, uh, he still insists on what he planned. I think um, for the first time he's got a dream, just a very great dream, uh, about his career and ambitions and for all the time I know him, he didn't retreat even one step from, from his way. So that's what I precious about him very much. There are no so much place and time for these things, uh, for example, to find uh, somebody who is living with him. So all this, I think it will be the, the question for the future. And uh, I know um, he prepared her, himself uh, to move to US. So I, I, it means uh, maybe there will be better chance for him uh, find uh, somebody somehow uh, who is um, the right person for the life also abroad. Now we are in the house of my grandparents where I spend lots of my life and lots of my periods, lots of my time and I have quite deep relationship to these things. I like all these antiquities here and this house was built by my, by my grandpa and I like also the care from my grandma and grandpa and it's really a good family atmosphere of this house. Jo, dík, babčo. Jdeš to sedám, nedličky. Jo, dík, the year 2009 for me it was a miracle year because I finished my high school with high school living exam wrote a book called under the barricade and uh, qualified for International Physics Olympiad that should uh, take place in Mexico. But uh, in April 2009 there were news that there is swine flu in Mexico and that was quite, quite a hard time because my government said you don't go there because it's too dangerous. And that was really a hard time for me because I was studying for this for six years. It was six years of rounds and competition and learning. And I solved more than 5,500 problems in 3,300 hours. And then this result that, that was really tight times. But fortunately, a couple of weeks before the Olympiad, the situation improved and we can fly to Mexico, to Merida, on Yucatan and from this event I brought the bronze medal to home, so I was really happy. In this case, I have it. And I'm really proud of it. Uh, 
I, I wanted to, to tell it. I, I think that uh, uh, he, he sets for himself very high, high goals and then he really works very hard to reach them. It may, be, it, it, it may seem that uh, uh, it's not possible to reach these goals, but he still can do it because he really he, he's able to, to work very hard. Nowadays I am in Central Committee of Physics Olympiad to help young students in their way for physics and I hope it's helpful for them. I have some lectures about psychology of physics Olympiad, how to participate, what to do there, not to be nervous, what are the main topics and the most important things there. And uh, actually the community of physics is quite interesting because there is nobody who boss it, who is the leader, but it's still working. So it's because everybody knows what to do. That's really interesting. This is the paper I have from my high school. I have it on my uh, school desk and there is written, I am not here, I have to learn, we'll be right back. And during this I have it uh, during uh, solving the problems from Physics Olympiad. Nowadays I am writing a publication about genesis of International Physics Olympiad participant. And for this I have to go through lots of documents, old tapes and all these things to really, really discover the history of this event. And it, it takes the work like searching in annuals, in searching for people that remember the, this time. And this year, the year uh, 2017, there is 50 years from beginning of this international event, which is Czech Republic, the co-founder. is a city 60 miles from Prague and I spent there my early childhood. It is also a birthplace of Ferdinand Porsche, gifted ah! car designer. Ah! This is Ještět. The mark of Liberec is the monument called Ještět. Ještět serves as a hotel and TV tower. It is actually the stroke of genius in its shape that fits absolutely perfectly into the landscape panorama. The music spreading to the cosmos, our music. I think there is just one talent in the world and it's to be stuck to something, to really keep on to doing something and that's I think my difference. I also like school because I have their friends, I have their information, I have the, the program of my day that's, and that's, that's may, maybe all. I think I can do also lots of jokes and I can also laugh. It is difficult to say in which area I am really unique because when you travel you see lots of very talented people, very skilled, that nobody knows that they are in the world and they are. Medicine as expected set the bar very high. You are still solving problems, how to do duties that a person is normally unable to do in one month. Every season was different in medicine. 
each seems to summarize the previous one. Well, I will be somewhere in a place with my family and I will try still to propagate my people, my country and my world. That's, that's my goal. I think to propagate himself is the goal of every man and just the successful man can do it in this way that they really made the opinion of people that this is the successful way, so let's do it in this way. Because of such effort and such energy, I decided to stay in the US for the rest of my life. And the reason, one of the biggest reason is that there is support of young people and I want to be with young people, young generation, new minds, fresh minds and not to be stuck in communication channels that are overruled by older people. <laughs> At first, uh, be at the right time, at the right place, and be ready, and uh, stay patient. And also, um, positive thinking. I think it's very important for him. Přál bych mu, aby se mu splnili všechny sny a věřím, že se jednou zapíše do historie. V první řadě, aby potkal samé dobré lidi, aby založil rodinu a byl spokojený, a našel zajímavou práci, která ho bude bavit, uspokojovat a zároveň, aby nepřestal myslet na své kořeny, odkud vzešel a aby se k nám rád vracel. Of course, I would wish him good luck and I would wish him to that all his dreams would become a reality. So I wish him good luck on his way and for his life. Mm, I hope that he will have a nice family and many friends. I wish uh, Richard all the best. I believe that he will find the right place uh, in the world and in his life. I would wish him on his journey to America I wish him that his American dream would fulfill or come true. Yes, I wish him a safe flight. See you, Richard. Yeah.